My name's Kaylee, and this is my friend Bubs, the Great Horned Owl. And today we're taking another look at the owls in the Royal Saskatchewan Museum because Bubs, our friend here, has never seen any other owls besides Great Horned Owls. Are you excited, Bubs? Hoot! Today we're looking at a mixed wood forest north of Hudson Bay on the east slope of the Pasqua Hills. I'm ready. This time, my eyes are wide open and I'm gonna find this other owl so fast. All right, Bubs, but make sure to give our viewers at home some time to find the owl too. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Uh... Hoo hoo, up there. Good work, Bub, and you too. That's the barred owl. They prefer to build their nests in a cavity or hole in large trees found in mixed wood forests. Likely because the space between all the trees makes for some good hunting. What do they eat? The barred owl will hunt mice, rabbits, voles, and birds up to the size of a grouse. These great hunters will even munch on fish, amphibians, and insects. Whoa! They can hunt down all those kinds of critters in the night? Well, Bubs, barred owls aren't actually nocturnal, meaning active during the night. Barred owls are actually crepuscular, meaning they're most active at dawn and dusk, but they've also been known to be active during the day when they're raising owlets. Oh, wow. My mom said great horned owls only hunt during the day sometimes in winter. So that means we're nocturnal? That's right, Bubs. Now, something Bubs and I didn't talk about are the barred owl's striking eyes. They're certainly much different than Bubs' eyes, and since we measured our arm span or wing span last week, I thought we could do another owl activity this week, specifically fashioned after the barred owl's beautiful eyes. What? What you'll need for this craft is some tape or hot glue if you're feeling brave enough. I wasn't some paper, pencils, pencil crayons or markers, some sunglasses with black lenses, and some scissors. First, trace a circle onto your paper using an object larger than the lenses of your sunglasses. You'll need two larger circles and one smaller circle. Next, roughly trace the frames of your glasses and where your lenses start. You'll want to cut out the space where the lens should be. Decorate the look of your owl's eyes as you see fit. Using tape on the back of our owl eyes, we'll attach them to our sunglasses. Next, color your smaller circle yellow. This will be our owl beak. Fold the owl beak as so and tape it or glue it shut. Lastly, using tape or hot glue, attach your beak to the front of your sunglasses. And there you have it, our fun summer barred owl look. joining us today. We hope you learned a lot. Please let us know in the comments down below or to the side what your owl eyes turned out to look like. We're really excited. We hope to see a whole bunch. Please stay tuned to see more on our Facebook page as well as our Twitter. Bye! What?